just a couple of things to say about uh, my brother, Harold. He had a couple of nicknames that I recall. Shorty Shingding, which uh, he got when we lived on uh, out in West Indianapolis. Uh, one of the guys, one of the uh, older guys, older than me, as a matter of fact, uh, christened him Shorty Shingding, and this and this person was a uh, sort of an artist. And uh, he drew up a picture of us as a quartet. Me, Shorty Ching Ding, Joe, and Jimmy. I wish I still had that picture. Then there was the uh, nickname Slack Hammer. I believe that came from uh, one of the guys in the 29th Street uh, neighborhood. Uh, Humphrey Howard did uh, did that. As a matter of fact, I'm told he nicknamed uh, everybody in that hood. Slackhammer, this is your little brother, JoJo. Yes, always the little brother, and you made sure I remembered that when we were growing up. But I appreciated all the protection that you gave us. There's a song by Jonathan McReynolds called God is Good. There's a couple of verses in there that says, May your bad times end the way they should, and may your whole life prove that God is good. A couple of bars. for your family that we all can be proud of. We love you. God bless you. Rest in heaven. This is Brother George. And I'm just giving a little message out on my brother Slack. And I'm going to miss him as all of us will. I know he's in God's hands. And we just gotta keep our faith in God. If I am with my situation. I know it's like he, he was some when we was kids. He, I always think about him getting up in the morning. Beating up with death and eggs. You didn't get in there, you just you look in there and you get your breakfast before he does. And she eat up the bacon, eggs. And he was good at that. And I was all messy. And he was good at that. I was all messy. So, I just stay strong, family. So, 
got it. Just stay strong. I know you will. And all the family. We love you guys. Me and Miss Edward, we're, we're doing good. We're, she's in the downstairs floor, second floor of the hospital. I'm on the third floor. And we're praying. And we'll get out soon. Love you guys. Take care. Amen. Hey, brother. It's kind of hard to find the words to say how much I miss you already. Uh, brother, you've been a, a great big brother, as all my brothers have, you know. Uh, I just want you to know that the things you have told me in life, the things you suggested I do, uh, you know, to prepare me for adulthood and all that, you know, to become the man I am today. Those are words of wisdom from you and my brothers, of course, and my dad, you know, but today it's about you, brother. I'm going to miss you. Uh, you. You're walking another journey. You're on another journey now, you know. And I, I saw this quote that said, God won't send you anywhere unprepared. Brother, you have been prepared your whole life. You, you've been prepared for this. So, brother, go on your journey. You know, the bond we had, you see that picture behind us, the bond we had, the bond we had with our mother, you know. You get to bond with mother again. So I'm sure she welcomed you in. Uh, and, you know, brother, like I said, I love you. I'm going to miss you. One day we'll see each other again. One day. Yeah. But right now, just rest in peace. Peace. My name is Dolores Everett Wyatt, and I'm the sister of Hare Jr. I was truly saddened by the passing of my brother, Hare Jr. He was a loving and caring brother and will truly be missed. I'm going to miss, one of the things I'm going to miss is I'm going to miss his visits to Indianapolis with his family. Whenever they came to Indianapolis, typically they would stay with me. So we always made sure we had a good breakfast. But if you know Harry Jr., you know one thing, is he liked his coffee. So I always had to make sure that I bought some coffee, but I had instant coffee. So on one particular visit, Harry Jr. came with the family and brought me a gift. I was so excited. And when I got that gift and I opened it up, it was a coffee maker. So I asked the question, was that coffee maker for me or for him? Love you, brother. Take care. Hey, good morning, Sam. Just wanted to take a minute uh, to talk about um, what um, my big brother, Harold Jr., uh, meant to me, the impression that he made on me. Uh, as a lot of you know, you know, I didn't know Harold Jr. when I was a youth. I got to know him uh, a lot later in my life when I was a grown man. And uh, one of the things that he showed to me is uh, the importance of family. Um, the importance of being a good father, being there for your kids, um, showing up for events. Uh, the great thing that I remember about Harold Jr. is that he always showed up uh, for events. If we sent him an invite, even though he lived in Mississippi, he would come from Mississippi to things like my daughter's, uh, my daughter's graduation party or my vow renewal. He always made it a point uh, to come here. 
the other thing that I remember about Harold Jr. was how good a big whiz player he was and how much stuff he talked at the big whiz table. So those are a few things that I remember that I'm going to miss uh, about the man, a great man, uh, my big brother Harold Jr. Hi, this tribute is for my big brother, my brother from another mother. First, I want to offer my condolences to Charlotte and the entire Everett family. Um, it's not an easy time. I just want to say I um, didn't have a chance to get to know big brother very well, um, but I always felt like whenever he came to Indianapolis, he would always bring a piece of the South with him. His dialect and the, just the mannerisms that represented Southern hospitality. And he'd always say, sis, when are you coming to Mississippi? I'd say, I'm coming, I'm coming. But I never made it there. Um, and on the last Zoom call I was on, the family Zoom call, I just remember he and George going back and forth um, joking with one another, and I never knew he had that sense of humor. So I appreciated finding that out. So on last Wednesday, I was on the treadmill watching Good Morning America, and they had announced the winner of the Miss USA pageant. And wouldn't you know it, she was from Mississippi. My mind immediately fell on Big Brother. And I thought, I'll bet he is tickled pink only to learn that we would um, get the news of his passing on Thursday. Big Brother, thank you for being a special part of my life, even though it was short. Thank you for being a special part. Thank you for embracing me. Rest well, and please say hello to Dad.